Happy New Year to you and welcome to No Second Season. It's the 1st of January 2022 or 2020 poo as I call it and I just set off on a small bike packing tour. I'm just riding out of Albury on a cycle path. I've come across a little pump track. I'm tempted to have a go, but it could end in tears. And, uh, I forgot my sponge pants, so I'm going to have a sore bum. <laughs> Damn it. I'm still not out of Albury. Still riding through the parks with the Great Murray River to my right. I'm navigating by the right of GPS. <laughs> it's all right, but not so great in urban areas. Noriel Park in Albury, so it's about half eight, and people are already setting up their family sites and picnics by the river. And by this afternoon, this river will be full of people floating down it and having fun. So now this is a common uh, photograph that appears on bike packing crossing the New South Wales border into Victoria and there's these big balls, some sort of sculpture. No you can't. <laughs> I just got onto the um, High Country Rail Trail and earlier I propped my bike up to take a photo and the bike fell over and it dislodged my rear roll pack bracket and um, I had it in a sweet spot. It's not broken but I had it in a sweet spot and I put it back on but not in the sweet spot so it's um, come adrift again. So anyway, so fingers crossed I've nailed it. So I'm just having a drink and a little snack. I've done. One thing I'm really glad I bring with me is one a repair kit full of bits and bobs and two is this Swiss Army knife. It's so good and it meant I could cut off the cable ties on the bracket, on the roll packer bracket and I could also put some new ones on from my repair kit. So um, it is worth carrying the just in case, just in case, especially if you're me and a bit of a nincompoop. And it's really nice riding on early morning, New Year's Day. People are out for their morning walk with their dogs. Lots of cyclists, probably seen 20, go all going the other way. Perhaps they know something I don't. So we're along here, coming out of Wodonga on the rail trail. There's some great photos of the um, railway many years ago. Lots of wooden trestle bridges. I'm just going by some sort of military base to my right. So it looks like the surfaced part is finishing and now it's unsurfaced, which is much nicer. And we've got some shade, some pretty trees. It's a pretty little spot. Here, a nice little wild camp. Up by the river. I'm gonna get me some water to filter. So one thing with these Sawyer squeeze pouch is that they take a bit of filling because they seem to hold the air in them. So you need to sink them. Four 
Hello, Hello, Mumus. Hello, darlings. It looks like this is all that's left of this uh, train station. Bonigilla. I don't know how you pronounce it. It'll be weird. They pronounce it strange here. Passengers desiring to join trains at this station are requested to exhibit the red flags in daylight and adjust the red glass and light lamp during darkness. <laughs> wow. Still on the rail trail. It's gradual uphill climb and has been for several kilometers. I'm about, I don't know, 26 kilometers in. And so the, for the first time, I can see Lake Hume. Distance 28.0 kilometers, duration three hours, 20 minutes, eight seconds. Here's my first view of Lake Hume that I've been riding towards. It's absolutely brimming. It's 100% full. As you can see, it's right up to the edge. 22,000 hectares of water, but things, water sports and swimming has been curtailed, which is a popular thing around here. Not curtailing it, but swimming and playing on the water. Um, but there's an algae bloom and they've uh, advised you not to go in. What a nightmare because it hasn't been this full for years. Such a shame. Phew. I've done about 30 kilometres. I've just stopped here at the lake at one of the little picnic spots. Um, even though it's recommended you don't go in the water, people are. In Australia, these barbecues in picnic spots are commonplace. Uh, many, many just in Lavington and Albury. Um, there's one here. I don't need it at the moment. I'm hoping there might be one further along. Um, it's around it's around getting on for midday and it's 30 degrees mm -hmm. it's quite hot and uh, there's not that much shade so um, I just stopped here to cool down and actually there's a toilet so I'll go to the loo while I'm here past 12 and the sun is so very hot I'm struggling a bit I've done about 35 kilometers so I've just stopped under this as you can see rare bit of shade looking across the lake that's the way I've come from and that's the way I'm going and just having a little rest <laughs> There's a bit of shade here and an old train. <laughs> it's pretty amazing. I'm a little further along now. Not much, only about 35 kilometers in total. Um, but I'm so very tired from the sun. So I've stopped to have some lunch and a little sleep. <laughs> I've just had a little sleep. Um, I've had a cup of tea and I've cooked myself some Aldi macaroni cheese. Now, if you ever buy that, it's cheap as chips, it's full of E numbers, not particularly good for you, I don't suppose, but it's filling. Um, but it never really goes soft, the macaroni, it doesn't matter how long you um, sort of simmer it, but it's okay and that's what I'm having now. And then I'm going to have a sleep, <laughs> so I'm really tired and I'm charging up um, my GoPro battery. Now this GoPro is a GoPro Hero 8. I used to have a five, well I've still got the five, and the battery's lasted so much longer. This one's terrible on battery, it's absolutely rubbish. Um, I've barely filmed this morning and um, it's already run out of battery, so I'm having to charge that over there with my solar charger. So I started riding again after stopping for an hour. Um, 
it's getting hotter and hotter. I'm guessing it's mid 30s. We're getting on for that. Uh, there's very little shade. So this is a railway bridge, or was. It looks like it's all new. It's called the Sandy Creek Railway Bridge. And it crosses Lake Hume. I've done about 45 kilometers. It's so hot, I've been riding with my brolly up and holding it with one hand, which is doable on this surface uh, part, but the wind's picked up, so I've had to put it down. And I've got some shade here, which is better. There's a couple of, um, of the cows in the lake, <laughs> sensible, cooling off. The others are in the shade here. I'm sorry, Luke. I've made it to Talangata, and that's 50 kilometers. And um, it wouldn't be a hard ride except for the heat. It is just very, very hot. I resorted to riding with my brolly up where there was no shade. Um, I think I'm going to camp here tonight. Uh, won't have to wild camp because there is a campground somewhere around. I've just got myself a drink. And I'm sitting in the shade and cooling down. Um, I've met a few other cyclists, three others, and um, they're running either nothing, no luggage, or very light. One lady I bumped into, she was running very light luggage and she's going up to Threadbow doing the high country. So, um, I think I'm coming to the conclusion that I'm too heavy for short rides. Fine for long rides because you need more stuff, but I need to rethink what I need to take and whether even I need lighter and smaller equipment. And if that's the case, I shan't do it. Um, I'll just either go on long rides or on day rides. Anyway, I'm having that nice cool drink. See you later. Can you hear that popping noise? That's the melting tarmac. And it's about 35 degrees. Apparently it's been up to 38 up where I've been. <laughs> it's hot. Hello James, um, I just wondered if you've got room for a small one tonight. It's just a, a one person tent. Hi, I've paid for a pitch at Lakelands Caravan Park to Langata. I'm squashed between caravans. And the only bit of shade is here. I'm not sure where the sun's going to go. Is it going to go this way or that way? Could be important. I think I'll stick my tent here and hope for the best. But it's going to be noisy. Now apparently you can go in the lake now. So I might go for a bit of a swim. When I've had a rest. Cha-cha-cha Apollo Le cha-cha-cha